Welcome back to Salty Kerr Plays Lord of the Rings Online. Uh, our crafting interlude is over. We're ready to get back into questing. I've done uh, a lot of work on the software issues I've been having. Uh, so hopefully we've got things squared away. So we should be able to go trouble free from here on out. But uh, we'll see how things go. Alright, let's get back at it. We need to collect some bear pelts and uh, some wolf pelts and some stuff. Okay, let's do it. Got our road speed buff. Are we in the bear area? Apparently we are. Need eight bear pelts. Uh, apparently my keypad is choosing to have an issue. There, there we go. I have adjusted the audio inputs, so hopefully the game will be a little better, better balanced between my audio coming through my mic and the audio of the game. This is all a big work in progress for me. I've never done anything like this before, so I'm learning tons about software, computer settings. I set up a new profile on my hard drive, my operating system, um, which supposedly will change. That's a nice view. Let's let's do that one. Let's see if we can get a nice screenshot here. Alright, so let's see if we can grab this screenshot. And it's saved. So our failing to save screenshot has been solved. So now I can grab some screenshots from in-game uh, and capture this beautiful game for stills, which is super awesome. I was really bummed about that. In fact, Fixing that is what caused the rest of the issues that I was having. So hopefully that is all squared away as well. I also upped the bit rate to 100,000 uh, capture, so hopefully quality in its highest possibilities for my computer. This is the bear area, right? Out of warmth, yep. It's our old buddy Adso back here. I forgot to turn this on. I did quite a bit of crafting, so uh, we're working our way through the ranks. Um, so I managed to get through the Apprentice Forester, Journeyman Forester, so now I will be able to harvest you when we go to our next area. Um, the, uh, the way this works is you enter your first tier of mastery, which will allow you to collect the next tier down. But in order to go further to the tier after that, this has to be mastered. So in order to get this opened up, this tier has to be mastered. Okay, so you have, uh, proficiency and then mastery. So we have some more work, so we'll be collecting um, logs and pelts. Medium hides is what works for us. It's this one rather than these. These are different. Um, green usually is the crafting stuff, so all of the green background are crafting items. So this is what we're collecting to create, uh, to create the wood. And then we will be able to process and open up the next range 
And the next range is where we'll get a better bow than the one we're using. And we're on our way for, for the crafting adventure. I was hoping uh, to avoid doing that, but I thought, you know, you can't really, uh, you can't really avoid doing that if you're trying to grasp, you know, what it was like on the initial playthrough. I will do a lot of that on the camera. Consuming. You do get a feeling of accomplishment as you work your way up the ranks, however. day in Breland. I forgot to open our Hobbit present that we have today. Spent all day yesterday trying to solve my software issues. Run speed boosts. Those are always good. So we got our bear pelts. Let's find out where our wolf pelt situation will be. Way over here. And then, oh no, wolf pelts are in here in the forest. So we'll wait on that. Uh, that one we'll wait on. So let's go, just go turn this in. See where we are on our epic book quest. So we need to, we need to get into that old forest. And find Tom Bombadil. Um, I guess we can take care of Sharky's men. And take these off our bar for now. And crank through these. Friendship's renewed. Staddle. We're not going to worry about that one. He's just going to give us a bunch of Staddle quests. And we can we can cancel all of these. They're not giving us any, um, any reputation, so there's no need to do those. Okay. My brethren's call. Greenway for Okay, that's moving up towards the north. <whistles> Gold present available as well, so let's see what that is. Little pile of silver scraps, 400 silver. That wasn't was exactly a lot. I have been making some pretty good, uh, some pretty good money on this guy. If we look here, we're almost at three gold. So um, that is good. Money is good. Visit Roger here and turn in our bear pelts. Check our virtue situation while we're here. How we're doing? Tolerance is what we're working up. These are all at four. That one's at six, which is fine. Road right past him. Get our frames for 
second. Why is this world coming to? Actually, quality, that's the course. That's the, that's the work I do. Alright, that is done. Alright. Um, see if this Buckley gives us Quest of the Old Forest and Shadow Could I China. speak with you a moment? It's from the Old Forest, yes, yeah, so we'll go ahead and accept that. We'll be going in through here into the Old Forest pretty soon. Alright, we gotta collect some stuff. So we'll set that as our quest guide focus. area up ahead here. Let's see. Um, find evidence of the Brad Brigands. Da, da, da. Chief Grimbrayer awaits your return. Investigate Brigand activity. I did look on the auction house for ash branches and they are none to be found, so we're collecting quite a bit here. I have no problem buying from the auction house. Oh, yes. Obnoxious boar. Oh, this one's going to get called too. Can I get him in time? Nope. So I'm just going to kill a couple of brigands and see if that is the answer to the loyalty question. Yep, strange medallion. Chief Watcher Grimbriar. Who's closest? Forging a blade or Sharky's Ben? We will hit Grimbriar first. Almost to 18. Catching back up to our epic quest line. Greetings. I wanted to take a moment of your time. Sheridan's bow is not an upgrade. Nor is that. Nor is that. Got a hair here. Okay, we're level, we got a low cut, which we will not use often. Not there. Um, it's just basically a swing in front of us with our sword. It attacks up to eight targets in front of us. Uh, it does hit them with a target run speed debuff, as you'll see. Uh, the damage is. 
terrible. But it does slow the movement speed of up to three of the enemies, I guess. Okay, we got some Lotra points. Got a new a new deed there. Completed this deed. Let's check what that did to our tolerance. Increased it to four. So all of these are at four now, our main ones that we're going to be using. Um, our big damage ones are at six. So we'll throw, I think I decided on uh, tolerance instead of mercy for the resistance. Charity gives us a resistance rating, so we're not getting bleeds and poisons as much. Uh, so when that opens up at 23, we will be there. So um, let's click back to compassion since we have that slotted now. You'll notice this number increases as we level for all of the uh, all of the virtues so you have to earn as you go so we will be earning uh, compassion we'll try to get all of we'll get compassion charity and tolerance to six and then we'll be back to determination we'll just go down the line this way Meet Grimbriar Spy. He's just right over here, isn't he? must be quick. I think they suspect something. Wait, what's that sound? Look out, here they come. All right, it's going to get busy. Yeah. Try our new little sweep skill. That put a, it did put a target run speed buff on them, or debuff. I handed you a bundle of notes. Since Sharky's men have come from up from the south and taken over, the local brigands have changed from being common thieves and robbers into something more like a small army. Dirty and ill-equipped though they are, by combining their numbers, they may be stronger than any of the town guards. The Breland brigands of the past times might have been crude and dirty outlaws, but they were still men of Bree for the most part with relatives in the towns and farms in the region, so they weren't all that inclined to heedless violence. But now Sharky's men have changed everything. No dissent or squeamishness is permitted, and under their brutal fists, the brigands of the country have become far more dangerous. It seems that Sharky's men are gathering their forces for some important task, and I'm afraid they intend no simple thieving. It may be that they mean to take over all of Breedland. I know little of these men from the south. They are almost all ill-favored brutes, but they are well-armed and skilled fighters. They do not trust the native Breland outlaws with their secrets, but they revere their leader they call Sharky. I am sure that Sharky is not yet in Breland, but it may be that he will come soon. Where do these men come from, and where is Sharky now? I do not know this for sure, for I have never traveled beyond Breland and do not know the Southlands. Interesting. Pardon me. Men sometimes speak of a place called Isengard. They come from beyond Andrath, maybe as far as Dunland. Seems from what I've overheard, they are rivals with some band they call the Iron Crown. Interesting. But I know even less of this. Interesting. Okay. Got invaders from this place, maybe called Isengard. So we'll bring that to Grimbriar. Grimbriar.
find out what Sharky's business is all about. How do we collect these branches? Oh, I probably could have run him off. still have to come up with our our surname. Have I got news from you for you, brother? How can I be of service? Okay, there's nothing here that's any good. So we'll just take the thing that is worth the most. 190, 162, which is that one. Can I spit with you a moment? Collect the notes and return them to the Chief Watcher Grimbriar. I'm not going to invite the aid of those rangers out of the wild. The men of Bree are capable of defending their own lands from the threats they face, and we will not rely on strange folk for assistance. We get a reputation with this. This information speaks of the captain who led the raid on Dogwood's farm in this current location. We have a chance to strike a telling blow against these brigands and find out more about them. It appears that the leader established a camp within a thick copse of trees behind the knoll to the west. The knoll in question is to the south of Dogwood's farm. Let us strike that blow for the men of Breland. Okay, since we're doing lower level quests, let's go ahead and put our tortoise shell in. Okay, I think that is where the rogues gallery will be. a bit, looks like. Death from above! She made choices. Is this the area we... Yes, this is our area. Tattered pack there. Perhaps that will have what we're looking for. Let's get rid of this guy. Or the leader in there might be the guy we're looking for. facing the wrong way and he's gonna get an arrow in the back. But he made choices. Especially if he's from Isengard. Got his note. Usually in backpacks and stuff that you find it'll give you uh, crafting stuff. And some calibrate salve, salve apparently. Oh, we got this. Let's see. This is 23.5. Yes. So let's go ahead and adjust our situation here. So basically we'll move the top one down and then put the bigger one in our main hand. Yes, I know it will bind it. Okay, what's this? That is a, a terrible helm. Okay, here's the note. Sharky has ordered that we all immediately stop up, step up our activities. Around Bree, no traders must move without paying off our people. And all the farmers must give us all the food we need. Forget about guards and garrisons, they are nothing to us anymore. Let the constables huddle in Bree. 
and arch it so long as we own the roads and the fields. Andrath is already ours. We will soon have all the land between here and our encampment at Brigand's Watch. Soon we will have all of Breland in flames. There's one more thing. The boss is interested in some hobbit named Baggins. Certain riders have been sniffing around asking for that name, and you should look out for it too. If you find any hobbit named Baggins, let me know at once. Indeed. Greetings. We have them now. This information proves that this sharky fellow is intent on establishing a strong foothold here in Breland. It also tells us of their largest encampment outside the Vale of Andrath, at a place that they have place west of here that they call the Brigand's Watch. The Brigand captain there passes orders out to his lieutenants that come directly from Sharky. If we can get those notes. Would you do something for me? Let's check our reputation here. We got quite a ways to go. To get our port. Uh, with your help, we draw ever closer to shutting out this upstart Sharky. We are closing in more and more on his location and the size of his force. We know that Brigand's Watch to the west of here and the foothills of Breland is staging ground for future assaults. The Brigand's captain hands out orders from Sharky himself to his lieutenants. Likely, they are kept somewhere safe, a lockbox or even on his person. We need those orders. Head to the Brigand's Watch and get those orders. We get some... Yeah, slight upgrade, shoulder, gar shoulder gear. Lesser caliber or lesser Mathalus Essence. Hi, that was a Bjorning. Sharky's plan. So we've been there before. So we'll go and get those orders and probably call it for this episode. Am I going to be able to get these before that person comes and nails me? Yes. me if I try to go by you, so you must die. Oh, dead. Oh, he wandered out the gate for a long time. I should have started and pinned the outlaw. I'm hoping that lookout will not see me. And she didn't. Not a very good lookout. Our kill. 
killing brigands deed, all of this would have been useful, but since I have, we'll just try to... Can here and get the job done. There he is. There's his chest. Here's an outlaw. <laughs> is about to get peppered. Yeah, that sword's doing you a lot of good way over there, isn't it? Ah, yes, the archer class. The best. Get some supplies while we're here. Alright, let's read this. As you know, we've had some problems getting enough men to accomplish Sharky's plans for Breland and the Shire. All of Sharky's best, you and me accepted, are occupied in the south. What we got here ain't quite strong enough to take on the townsfolk straight forward. Fortunately, we've been given an opportunity. Orcs have come, Orcs have come as far south as the Greenway, even. My friends say Sharky ain't on the best terms with them up in the north, but some of the Orcs who've come south into Breland have been cut off. These orcs down here might be convinced to join us. Of course, Sharky knows how to deal with orcs. These scouts from the north are no doubt in a bad way since they can't get any new supplies or warriors. This could be just the turn of luck we've been looking for. Treat the orc scouts well. Tell your men not to interfere with them or you'll be responsible for them being dead and all. Bill. Okay, let's return back. We'll go the broken leg route. So interesting. So, Sharky's men are connected somehow with this place called Isengard. And are interested in forging an alliance with some orcs. We haven't seen orcs yet running around here in Breland. So that's an interesting turn of events. We'll have to see how that uh, how that plays out in our continuing adventures. Chief Watcher Grimbriar has to say about this. Kith and Kin of Eriador. What can I do for you? Alright, we'll go with those. Can I speak with you a moment? And, let's see. 126. This one is, what, 117, 117. Go ahead and throw those on, even though they're gray. Fairly useless. I need to speak with Grimbriar Scouts. We're going to pick up this quest when we return um, and get a continuing, uh, a continuing progress, find out what Sharky's men are all about. So thanks for tuning in for this episode of Salty Cur Simply Walks Into Mordor, and we'll see you next time.